I'm Indy Feather and I'm an aspiring artist in Liverpool. Art was for me in year 11 when we were doing our like final piece for GCSE. I had no idea that I could paint as good as I did and it was just this massive painting with screaming faces and Lloyds Bank used it to like raise awareness for mental health so I raised quite a lot of money and that got me my scholarship for university. Um, a couple artists that have inspired me is Basquiat and Andy Warhol purely for the fact I love their vibrant colours, I like the fact that their pieces just stand out and they're just bold and straight to the point and that's definitely inspired the way my artwork is. <laughs> the piece of art that I'm most proud of is the painting I did of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. It went up in the tunnels of St George's Hall and I used like UV paint and like a, a UV light um, and it just made it all neon and cool and it was massive. So yeah, I think that was my favourite and the piece I'm most proud of. The goals I have for the future is probably to develop my style even more and get a lot more artwork done and out there. Like I want to start selling my artwork. So that's a start, but in terms of the, like, the long run, I haven't really thought about anything that far ahead yet. The way I set myself up before I create a new piece of art is always just, I like this picture or this photograph or this, and I just paint it. Like there is no, I don't really prepare for the piece of art. I never know what, what direction my art's gonna go in. I literally just, I just go with the flow, to be honest. I never know how a piece of artwork's gonna turn out. <laughs> My work has evolved over time, I think, by making things look maybe a bit more realistic because I'm a very abstract painter and I love just using wacky colours and stuff. So I feel like I just made my paintings look a bit more realistic over time and definitely like I like doing big scale paintings so I feel as though my paintings have got bigger and bigger over time. <laughs>